Hey guys, Jonathan was out here for JM Sports 100, the JM Sports Show. How is it going? I'm here to make college football picks for Saturday, October 18th, 2014. Week 8 in the 2014 college football season. Uh, the record right now is going to stand at the exact same thing it did in my video for my picks for Friday. So go ahead and check it out if you want to see what the record is. Because the games for today are not done yet, but I'm getting uh, this video out to you guys now, as I have been in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we are still looking for that bounce back. We're not doing terrible. I feel bad for saying that, you know, I'm looking for a bounce back and I'm disappointed because we're still finishing, you know, about 20 some or so games above 500 uh, on Saturdays. But I, I always do want to do better. Um, obviously, I'm never going to be perfect, but I do always want to do better. There are some games I think that could chip us up this week, but. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to spend a ton of time in explanation this week, to be honest. Um, however, at the end of this video, I will explain why I do think that the college picks are struggling a little bit um, this year. So, let's get to it. We kick things off with number four, Baylor in West Virginia. I am going to go with Baylor. Number 14, Kansas State takes on number 11, Oklahoma. I am going to go with Oklahoma here, and to be honest, I don't think it's close. Yes, Kansas State's a good team. Oklahoma... Um, has not played their best ball, didn't play real great last week. I do think that they will uh, bounce back. Bob Stoops pretty good in Norman, so I do expect them to bounce back well against Kansas State. South Florida and Tulsa. I am going to go with South Florida. Tulane takes on UCF, and I'm going to go with uh, UCF, Syracuse, and Wake Forest. Give me Syracuse, Iowa, and Maryland. Give me Iowa. Purdue and Minnesota. Give me Minnesota. Western Kentucky takes on Florida Atlantic, and I'm going to go with Western Kentucky. UTSA takes on Louisiana Tech, and I'm going to go with Louisiana Tech. Furman in South Carolina. Give me South Carolina. Virginia and Duke. Going to be a good game here, I think, but I am going to go with Duke. Akron takes on Ohio. I'm going to keep riding the zips. Go with Akron. They've been pretty hot as of late. Western Michigan and Bowling Green. Give me Bowling Green. Eastern Michigan takes on UMass. I am going to go with UMass. Appalachian State takes on Troy. And I'm going to go with uh, Troy. Number, one, 20, number 21, Texas A&M. And number 7, Alabama. I am going to go in that game with Alabama. Texas State. Or, I'm sorry, Texas State. Texas A&M has really... Uh, played with Alabama the last couple of years. I don't see that happening again. I do think uh, Nick Saban has finally got them figured out, and Alabama will get past uh, Texas A&M. Texas A&M has not looked good uh, the last couple of weeks either. Number eight, Michigan State takes on Indiana, and I'm going to go with Michigan State. Rutgers takes on 13th ranked Ohio State. Give me Ohio State. Number 24, Clemson takes on Boston College. I'm going to go with Clemson. UCLA takes on Cal. I am going to go with UCLA to bounce back after that humiliating loss uh, against Oregon last week. New Mexico takes on Air Force. And I'm going to go with Air Force. Army and Kent State. Give me Army. Ball State and Central Michigan. I'm going to go with Central Michigan. UAB takes on Middle Tennessee. And I'm going to go with UAB. North Carolina State takes on Louisville. A little nervous to do it, but going with NC State. Cincinnati takes on SMU. I'm going to go with Cincinnati. Kansas and Texas Tech. Give me Texas Tech. Number 10, Georgia takes on Arkansas. I am going to go with Georgia. Number 15, Oklahoma State. And number 12, TCU. I am going to go with TCU. I just I think they're the better team here. I've played. I watched Oklahoma State play a couple times this year. I'm really not that impressed with them. Um, I like I said. I do think TCU is the better team. San Jose State and Wyoming. I am going to go with San Jose State. New Mexico State takes on Idaho. Come to New Mexico State. Miami, Ohio takes on Northern Illinois. And I'm going to go with Northern Illinois. Colorado takes on number 22, USC. They are looking for a bounce back. A big time game is USC. And I think they will get it. I think they'll hang a huge number on Colorado this weekend. Number 25, Marshall takes on Florida International. And I'm going to go with Marshall. Tennessee takes on number 3, Ole Miss. I don't think Ole Miss is going to quite come down yet. Ole Miss coming off of a couple of big wins, obviously. Uh, they beat Texas A&M pretty good last week, of course, beating Alabama the week before. I do think Ole Miss can get past Tennessee. I've said it a couple times this year. I, f I feel like Tennessee is really close, but they're not quite there yet. Uh, Missouri takes on Florida, and I'm going to go with Florida Southern Miss and North Texas, and I'm going with North Texas, Utah State, and Colorado State. Give me Utah State, Georgia Tech, and North Carolina. Georgia Tech coming off of uh, 
a rough week last week. I am going to go with them to bounce back against North Carolina. North Carolina held in pretty well with uh, Notre Dame uh, last week, but I, I don't trust North Carolina's offense. Number 19, Nebraska takes on Northwestern. I do think there's a potential for an upset here. I am going to go with Nebraska to get a close win against Northwestern. Georgia State and South Alabama, and I'm going to go with South Alabama. Kentucky and LSU, give me LSU. Number 5, Notre Dame, and number 2, Florida State. I do expect Notre Dame to hang into this game. I know some people don't trust Notre Dame. Uh, I don't trust Florida State. Uh, I do think, like I said, Florida State wins, but I think Notre Dame is able to hang in there. Quite well. In fact, I wouldn't actually be totally surprised if we did see an upset, but I'm not going to call for it. Washington and number 9, Oregon. I am going to go with Oregon to uh, get the win. Iowa State takes on Texas, and I am going to go with Texas there, but I'm really iffy. Uh, Nevada and BYU. Give me BYU. Yes, I'm off my BYU. Uh, they're a really good team. To be honest, they're they're struggling right now for obvious reasons, but I do think they will get past Nevada. Number 23, Stanford. Number 17, Arizona State. Stanford's the better team here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm calling uh, for the upset. Hawaii, and I'm going with Stanford. Hawaii and San Diego State. Give me uh, San Diego State. I do like Arizona State. I really do, but, um, you know, coming off of that, that big win, uh, the last time out against USC, um, you know they they got throttled by they got throttled by UCLA. Um, you know you you look at Arizona State and other than the USC game which they barely won, the only other good team they played was UCLA and like I just said they just got throttled. So um, we'll see, but I am gonna go with uh, like I said Stanford in that game there. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me. And don't forget to like the JM Sports Show page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. This video is falling apart at the end. Oh, well, it happens. It's over. So NFL picks are upcoming for those of you who are interested in that. And that is going to do it for me. I am Jonathan. What's up for JM Sports 100 and the JM Sports Show? And I will see you guys later.